Once upon a time, in a small village nestled among the thick dark wood, stood an old church. It was a place where the town folks gathered to seek solace and find peace. However, behind its serene facade, the church held the sinister secret. Every night, when the moon cast an eerie glow on the village, Strange occurrences would unfold within the church's ancient walls. Whispers echoed through the corridors and shadows danced ominously in the candlelight. The villagers couldn't ignore the unsettled feelings that consumed them as they passed the church. Many claimed to have heard blood-curdling scream coming from within, but whenever they investigated, the church appeared empty and silent. One brave young woman named Emily decided to uncover the truth. She had grown tired of the fearful whispers and unnerving presence that played the village. Determined, she ventured into the church one moonlight night. As Emily pushed open the heavy wooden door, a gust of icy wind welcomed her. The air felt thick and suffocating, as if some malevolent force was lurking nearby. Contained, she tiptoed deeper into the darkness, her heart pounding in her chest. In the candlelight corridor, the world seems to breathe. The portraits of saints lining the hallway watch her with soulless eyes. Emily's step faltered. As the whispers grow louder, their wood too distorted to understand. She reached the grand hall where a towering crucifix dominated the altar. The crucifix appears to be ancient, its wood weathered and cracked. A shiver ran down Emily's spine as she noticed an airy red glow emanating from the figure of Jesus. The eyes of statue seems to follow her every move. Determined to undercover the truth, Emily approached the crucifix. As she drew near, the whispers transformed into gutter growls making her skin crow. Suddenly, the crucifix began to tremble. Its once steady form convulsing violently. Terrified, Emily stumbled backward, but her retreat was halted by an invisible force. The door slammed shut, sealing her fate within the church. Malevolence grasped. The red glow intensified, casting an unholy light upon the hole. As Emily watched in horror, the crucifix twisted and contorted, moping into a grotesque figure. Horns sprouted from its head, and its eyes burned like fairy coals. The demonic entity descended from the altar. Its long, gnarled feet words reached out towards Emily. She tried to scream, but no sound escaped her lips. Paralyzed with fear, she could only watch as the creature closed in on her. 
its rank breed enveloping her senses. But just as the creature's claws were about to touch her, a burst of blinding light erupted from the church stained glass window. The demon recoiled, shrinking in agony. The villagers, awakened by commotion, had come to Emily's rescue, armed with faith and determination. Together, they chanted Asian prayers, invoking the power of good to finish the evil that had played their village for far long ago. The demon wreathed in anguish its monstrous form, disintegrating into nothingness. With the creature vanquished, the church returned to its peaceful facade. The villagers, grateful to be free from the clutches of the darkness, restored the church to its former glory. From the day towards, the church stood as a symbol of triumph over evil, reminding the villagers of the power of unity and unwavering faith. But the memory of the harrowing night would forever haunt Emily's dreams. She would never forget the terror she faced with the church wall, a reminder that even it's in the holiest of the place, darkness can lurk waiting to be unleashed.